Hey, what is up guys? It's Super Users of Stand here, back with another video. So for a while now, I've been wanting to make my studio look a little bit better, a little bit more premium, and get a few more upgrades in. And one thing I've really wanted for a while now was under table lighting or some extra colors up against the back of the wall. So that's where this comes in. What I've got here is the Philips Hue Plus light strip, which I'll do an unboxing, we'll take a look at it inside, and then install it, and then I'll give you my thoughts about this unit. So let's get to it. The unboxing experience is actually pretty simple. All you really get in the box is a power brick, a light cable, a power cable, and then some instructions. Now, as for the power cable itself, what you got is an 80 inch long power cable uh, that has a very nice rubbery texture to it. On one side has a 3M adhesive and the other side, of course, you've got your LEDs. On one end of the light strip, you have a control module where you can plug the power cable into. On the other end is a connector where you can connect additional light strips and extend the length of this light strip. Now, this light strip is 80 inches long out of the box, and you can buy additional extension light strips for, I think, for about 20 inches or so, and this thing can be extendable up to 10 meters, or 30-some feet. Uh, it's actually very easy to extend it up to very long distances by just connecting the extension to the end right here. Now, speaking of the light strip, the light strip has a very rubbery texture, and it has a protective rubber cover for the LEDs. Now this light strip can be cut down to length if 80 inches is too long. Every 13 inches or so, there is an area where you can cut with scissors and this light strip will just continue functioning uh, as if you hadn't cut it. On the light strip, you'll find three types of LEDs spaced out every two and a quarter inch or about 60 centimeters apart. On one side, you have a 3M adhesive where you can just peel it off and stick it to wherever you want. What I'll be doing is sticking this light strip on the back edge of the table I've got behind me right here. This table is 92 inches wide, and this light strip is 80 inches long, so that actually matches up pretty well. Uh, what that means is I'll have about 12 inches worth of area or length that's not covered by the light strip, so six inches on either side. I don't think that's gonna be an issue. So let's go on and install this light strip. I'll make sure to link this light strip in the description down below and all the accessories and other Hue products. If you're finding this video useful and you're looking to purchase, perhaps consider using those links to help support this channel. All right, just because it's gonna be very difficult for you to see what I'm doing on the back side of the table, what I'm gonna be doing is taking the adhesive off and just sticking it on the edge of the table like this, all the way down on that side of the table so that the light can reflect off of the wall. All right, you can see that that was actually pretty easy to get it all installed. Uh, once it's powered up from there, all you need to do is to go to your phone and download the Philips Hue app, which I've got right here. Now, it's important to note that you need a Philips Hue bridge in order for this light strip to work. Now, that's not a problem because I've already got a couple of Hue bulbs and a Hue bridge already installed in this house. So once I plugged it in, log into the Philips Hue app, uh, which you can download from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, from there, it pops up automatically. So let's take a look at the app. Now, if you wanna see the whole setup of the Philips Hue Bridge 
and how to get the light bulbs and all the things connected to it, uh, perhaps comment down below if you wanna see that video. For now, I'm just kind of gliding over the setup process of that. The Philips Hue bulbs that I previously mentioned are actually two bulbs right up here in the lamp right above my head. And I use it to change the tone, change the color, and it really is easy to use for my YouTube videos. Now, as you can see here, I already installed and set it up as my office so I can change the brightness, change the temperature, and turn it on or off. Below that, I have a setting here that's called table, and as you can see here, I can toggle it on or off or change the brightness by just using the slider. Uh, from there, I can also go to the presets on the scenes where I can change by just change the scene by just the click of a button. Now, if you go into the settings here and go into rooms and zones, I can actually click on the office setting, which controls, uh, again, those three lights, oh, those two lights above, and I can add the light strip to the office. So by doing that and saving here, I can control both the two bulbs above and the light strip behind me in a single uh, setup, single zone. So by clicking the presets, I can have the entire room change color from above and behind. And it's really nice to be able to uh, have a couple of preset settings where maybe if I want to read a book and have the room a little bit more yellow, I can you know, read and it'd be really nice. And when I'm ready to shoot a YouTube video, I can change it to the, a wider light by just a click of a button and having both above and behind change to that color. Now you can add additional lights if you want, either a table lamp or some spotlights or whatever to this room and have it set up however you want. Additionally, I can actually go in and control every single light bulb in this room and have it go change the different brightnesses, change the different hues, and it gives you a lot of control over the kind of scene or kind of color you want in your room if you're not satisfied with whatever preset is already here. Once you have everything configured and set up correctly, you can actually use accessories to be able to control this room or control the lights. I have a switch on the wall that I normally use that to control the two light bulbs above. By just clicking the switch, I can cycle through the different profiles. Again, one is for reading, one is for shooting YouTube videos, and perhaps I'll program in a couple more scenes where I can have different colors with now that I've got the light strip in the back. To program the dimmer switch, all you need to do is to go into accessory setup and click the dimmer switch that you got right here. And from there, you can choose the behaviors of first press, second press, third press, or whatever. And these are the preset behaviors uh, that you have set up previously. And you can uh, you know, change these by scenes or change these by pre custom presets or whatever, so that uh, you can easily go to whatever kind of scene you want in your room. So all in all, you can see here, it was very simple to get this light strip installed and configured and set up so that it works with the rest of your Hue system. Now, a few random things that I noticed during my installation. The 3M strip on the back is uh, broken up into three or four inch strips. And it was actually very annoying to have to strip off all the different sections at, you know, one at a time rather than having a single continuous strip. Now, I understand uh, this is probably for consideration for being able to cut it up into pieces and that's why they have little teeny tiny strips but i really would have liked to see a single long adhes adhesive to be able to pull the whole thing apart another th thing is that the adhesive strip is actually not that well stuck to the light strip what i mean by that is uh, you have to be careful when you pull the adhesive the backing off uh, the protective backing so that you don't actually pull the entire adhesive off. You just want to take off the, the plastic dust covering rather than take the entire adhesive off if you pull too hard. Now I do have a concern about the rubber coating on the light strip. It's a very soft rubber coating and I wonder over time will it turn yellow or will it get you know, dull or will it get hard and crack? Um, only time will tell and I know that this light strip is an indoor light strip. They do also sell an outdoor light strip, uh, but the indoor light strip, it's right next to a window. So it's going to see a little bit of sunlight, a little bit of UV, even through the windows. Um, 
So I guess we'll just have to see how well it does over time. Now I really do think this light strip and the Philips Hue system is one of the best systems on the market. It's very easy to use and it's infinitely configurable and it's very easy to expand. Now I do realize that this is a very expensive system to buy into, especially when you consider you have to get a Philips Hue bridge and then this light strip isn't necessarily the cheapest thing. But you have to realize and you have to remember that you're buying into an entire system. So uh, the one bridge can control multiple rooms and it allows you to add additional bulbs for other rooms and have additional features such as you know, geofencing and whatever and blah, blah, blah. So and consider it as a long-term investment in a single system where you can expand it to incorporate all of the bulbs in your house. All right, so hopefully you learned a few things about the Philips Hue Light Strip Plus. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button and perhaps consider subscribing for future tech videos. I'll see you in the next one.